Blessings to you, family. I hear the Lord saying today, you can't give up now. Many of you are at this brink of breakthrough, but you're also simultaneously at this brink of giving up. And the Lord is saying you can't give up now. There's too much that he has planned for you. There's too much that he has in store for you. There are too many people that are connected to you that will be blessed. Not only those that you see that you are aware of now, but generationally to come. There are many people connected to you. There are many things tied to you continuing to push through. So I want to pray for you today. I pray for your strength. I pray for your increase. Some of you are ready to walk away from a marriage. Some of you are ready to give up on yourself. Some of you have been even considering self-harm. All of these things God is saying, you can't give up now. Remember, we have victory as believers through Christ. Don't allow the enemy to win over you by you succumbing to these thoughts of defeat, to these thoughts of depression, to these thoughts that nothing will ever change. That's something that has been on a cycle in your mind. It's been on repeat that things won't change and does God really love me? All of these questions and all of these wonderings, they're not from the Lord and God wants you to know today that he does love you. And this message, I believe that if you come across it, then the Lord was sending you this message today. Thank you, Lord. He was sending you this message today, right on time. I really do believe that, that it was a right on time message for you to continue to go through whatever it is that you've been through so that you can go to the other side of it. So let's pray together right now. Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless you. I thank you for this person, God. I thank you for the plan that you have for their life. I thank you that the enemy cannot steal that plan. I thank you for victory. I thank you, God, that where they have felt defeated, thank you, Lord, that there is joy, there is peace. Right now, peace and harmony in their minds, in their bodies, in their souls, in their home. Right now, harmony and peace and victory, I speak. Whatever it is that has been trying to uh, get them to give in to defeat, I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, God, for the authority that you have given us to do that because we believe in you. We have faith in you, God. Where their faith has been limited, where it has been dimmed down, where their light has been dimmed down, I pray for a fresh start. Thank you, Lord. I pray for a reawakening of an awareness of your presence. I pray where that fire has started to go out, let it be refueled, let it be reignited again. Whatever has held them back previously, I thank you, let it just be detached from them right now. I apply the blood of Jesus over this prayer and over this person in Jesus name, amen. All right. Well, I love you, family. I pray that this word blessed you. I believe that it will. Be encouraged, and I will talk to you all soon. God loves you. Bye-bye.